Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser. Today we'll be reviewing the McFarlane Movie Maniacs, The Fly, from the David Cronenberg film, starring Gina Davis and Jeff Goldblum. Really great film. This is always a favorite of mine growing up. Scared the hell out of me. And I think this figure does a great job capturing kind of the creepy, eerie gelatinous sort of look of this film. It's it's a great monster flick. Great Jeff Goldblum movie, too. Um, but yeah, this is from the final scene where Brundle actually finishes his metamorphosis into the fly and just kind of explodes out of his body into this thing. Great, great figure. These run for about... Oh, I've seen them go anywhere from like 20 to 60 bucks now. So, but it's definitely, it's definitely worth the buy if you can find it. Um, as far as articulation, it's got some in the shoulder. Um, this one's pretty stiff, so I can't move this one around as much either. Uh, in the arm here, the head kind of tilts a little. And then the legs at the hip kind of rotate a bit. Um, some rotation on the individual claws here, and then, uh... At the elbow, it kind of pivots a little. Comes with a really cool base. Uh, the wire that's frayed and kind of sparking around every that uh, all over his feet there. I believe they, that ends up playing a part in the end. It's been a while since I watched the movie, but I want to say they like shoot that and it ends up electrocuting him. But really cool figure. The detail on this is really good. The paint application. Uh, he's got kind of this, like, oozy stuff on his back from as he's finished his uh, transformation. He's got that kind of random arm growing out there that's really gross looking. Uh, his feet are both kind of different. Um, it's got a lot of really cool little details to it, like his little uh, bug mouth there has this kind of hairy stuff on it from kind of like a fly's mouth. He's also got these, like, really gross little black hairs that are kind of coming out along his spine and his body. Kind of kind of the same way Gina Davis was finding them throughout the film. Uh, pros and cons? Um, as with most of the Mo Movie Maniac series, there is very limited articulation, and it looks best in one stance because they kind of sculpt it that way and then throw in articulation in the end. But for this, it's, you know... You get what you get. Uh, second thing that I really wasn't a huge fan of is it's really hard to keep this guy on the base. He, The foot pegs on this don't really hold in all that well. And on top of that, you kind of have to force the back leg in so that he doesn't just tip over. So, you know, if you bump a shelf pretty hard, he'll go flying. So you got to be careful with that. But other than that, if you can find this, it's definitely worth a good, you know, 20, 30 bucks. Maybe more if you're a huge uh, David Cronenberg fan. But, yeah, that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching.